Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where you have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1537 of our trek and time for our three minute mini trek called Humor Unplugged. Our Thursday podcast will provide you with a clean and short funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and give you a bit of levity in your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 30, a cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny, which is titled, The Drill Instructor. Sergeant Schultz was fresh out of officer's training and was appointed drill instructor for the incoming class of recruits for the Marines. The veteran drill instructors were responsible for training the rookie sergeant. They took the sergeant aside and reviewed the drill plans with him. The first rule was that after every command, the recruits were to shout back the command and then add drill sergeant at the end of the command. They also informed the rookie drill sergeant that the recruits must understand the rules of the mess hall. The recruits only have 15 minutes to eat, so they need to shut up, eat up, and then get up. Sergeant Schultz wanted to impress his fellow drill instructors, so he took his training very seriously. On the first day with his new recruits, after the morning revelry, Sergeant Schultz marched his 60 privates into the mess hall for breakfast. Wanting to display his authority, he had them stand in a line and add attention. He then shouted at them this command, You only have 15 minutes, so there are three rules in this mess hall. Shut up, eat up, and get up. Checking to see that he had everyone's attention, he then shouted, What's the first rule? Much to the amusement of the other instructors, 60 privates yelled in unison, Shut up, drill sergeant! I hope that brought a smile to your face today. If it did, pass that smile on to someone else. We could all use a kind smile each day. Our Thursday thought is, Don't worry about being physically fit for the Marines. The drill sergeant has a plan for that. And our verses for today are Joshua chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. When Joshua was near the town of Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing in front of him with a sword in hand. Joshua went up to him and demanded, Are you friend or foe? Neither one, he replied. I am the commander of the Lord's army. At this, Joshua fell with his face to the ground in reverence. I am at your command, Joshua said. What do you want your servant to do? And just as you enjoy these nuggets of humor, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,536 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Futuristic Friday.